I'm Jeannie. And I'm Ron. We're the owners of the Colonic Health and Wellness Center. Today, we're going to show you how to receive a colonic. Hi, welcome to Colonic Health and Wellness Center. Today, I'm going to prepare you for a colonic. The first thing you're going to do, you're going to undress from the waist down and cover yourself with this sheet. You are then going to self-insert this nozzle up to here. As you can see, this nozzle is the size of a number two pencil. Here's your lubricant pack. You put the lubrication from the tip down about one inch. You're going to be laying on your back. Your hand is going to be here and your feet here on the sides. Now, for 45 minutes, warm, filtered water comes out here. All the odor and the waist goes down and around. And you'll see the waist in the clear tube there. As you see here, the water flows by gravity. There's no pressure pushing the water in. The water is carbon filtered, and there's an ultraviolet purification light below for sterilization. The goal is, you're going to fill yourself fill up. As soon as you feel like you have to evacuate, you just surrender and let it go. Allow yourself to fill up again, and let it go. You're going to have the natural urge to clench around this nozzle because most people think they're going to push the nozzle off. So don't clench, just relax. Now, once we know you're relaxed, we'll then turn the pump on. And this explains now. Since the pump didn't come on, I'll explain. This is the water temperature, the 108. The safety temperature is 104. So if this 108 ever, if the temperature, the red number ever goes past the green number, the device will automatically shut off to keep the temperature from becoming too high. So what I'm doing now is just releasing some water so I can put some cooler water in. You can see the number starting to lower now. Now, as I was saying earlier, the water from this tank is what keeps this filled for that continual flow for the 45 minutes. I've explained the temperature. If this red number ever exceeds 104, everything's going to automatically shut off. Once you have everything inserted and you're covered up, you're going to then ring this bell and we'll come in and start your session. So as we wait on the client to get ready, at the end of the session, we bring all the clients over to the station. We give the client a vegan formula probiotic, okay, after the session, and an emergency pack that helps replenish some of the electrolytes that they've rest out of their body. We got the reverse osmosis water here, cups, straws. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we have our client here on the table, who happens to be the co owner. So she's the perfect <laughs> example of how we're going to start the procedure. So first, I'm gonna start the temperature, start the water, I'm sorry. Can you feel it? Yes. So at this point, this is where you'll feel as a client, the water will start to stream into the coat, into the rectum, and you'll feel it streaming in to fill you up. So you'll start feeling that urge like you have to go to the bathroom. At this point, this is where you want to relax yourself, be calm, and get ready to try to release. And as you can see here, the water is flowing in slowly. As long as it's going down and not coming out in the clear tube here, that means she's filling up. Okay. On average, everyone can hold about two cylinders of water. So by the time, if she hasn't started evacuating, by the time we finish the second cylinder, we turn off everything, turn the music down, and let her relax. As you, as you can see, she's already starting to release. Go ahead, push it, push it, push it. Okay, now, she's experienced, so she knows what it's like, but a new client will stay in the room with them to make sure that they're releasing on their own before we turn on the pump. 
and start the set. So at this point, if you start to evacuate, how do you feel? I feel good. I feel like I need to have a really good bow. <laughs> Catch over here. You can see the particles starting to break up. Oh. Okay, so we're going to leave her alone and we'll come back and check on her later. Now, as she's going, we'll go back and check on her in a few minutes. But I wanted to show you another room. And here is the picture of the colon. Again, you will insert the nozzle up to about here. Your colon will fill up with water. And then it releases a point and then the waste will come down. The goal is for the water to go higher and higher and eventually reach over here into the cecum, okay? So it takes different points before the water gets all the way over here. So it'll work in stages. Again, the water will go up, then it'll bring down this waste. Go up a little higher, bring down more waste. So again, this is another colonic room. At the end of the session, we provide organic soaps for cleaning. Oh, this is what I'm talking about, why this falls up like okay. this? Because the hot water, I'm pushing it off. Okay, so she's, uh, she's into her colonic. And as you see, she's evacuating pretty good there. Okay. okay. And again, this is a benefit to having clogs because you want to get all that waste out of your body. Your body's walking around holding all those toxins. So as you can see, she's massaging herself, helping loosen up the waste. Now, we provide a massager. Some people likes it. She pretty much works with the hand. Do you want to try the massager? I like to work with the hand. Okay. But the, the massager I heard is really good though. Okay, so I'm gonna leave you alone.